A lot of work to do in some parts of Puerto Rico, but as you said, it has come a long way, and a lot of that is due to people who refuse to turn their backs on Puerto Rico and those who failed, who said they would not write Puerto Rico off after Hurricane Maria. Cesar Zurillo can tell you all about the return of tourism to the island of Puerto Rico. This section of Isla Verde Beach he manages in Carolina is home to hotels and condominiums that all suffered damage during Hurricane Maria. Some of those scars still evident on their facades. But a year later, it feels normal again. We have come along and everything's working out fine. And today we are expecting a good day. It's almost a year and we are having three cruise ships also coming in. So everything's coming up together. There's an old saying about prosperity and waiting for your ship to come in. And these three ships that pulled into old San Juan Harbor yesterday are evidence that the island's tourism economy is thriving again. In fact, within months of the storm, despite the island's devastation, tourists made it a point to make Puerto Rico a destination again. And Governor Ricardo Rosseo is grateful for that. When asked why did they come to Puerto Rico, they said they wanted help. And the best way that they thought they could help was coming over here, uh, spending their money as tourists and seeing how the progress was, was going. We sat down with San Juan's mayor, Carmen Yolín Cruz, to talk about her city and the island's recovery, a slow but steady process after the deadliest storm in its history that caused the largest blackout in U.S. history at a storm we now know claimed almost 3,000 lives. Our conversation taking place steps away from a photo exhibit that opened yesterday in Plaza Colon. Images of Maria's aftermath, images of the island coming together with volunteers from the mainland and around the world to help put Puerto Rico together again. But we push hard every day and, and we continue every day to thank the people of the United States because we're the government of the United States and the Trump administration turns their back on us. The people of the United States, the Latino population and the Puerto Rican diaspora. And I have to give a special shout out to New York. Both Mayor Cruz and Governor Rosseo say Puerto Rico still has a long way to go. And now the focus must go from just recovery to transformation, building a much stronger and prepared island. And that is something that is more important than ever, especially because we're still in the midst of hurricane season.